Today, three men making a push for the postseason share their stories. <laughs> How you doing? The book on Kevin Love says he may be the best power forward in the business. This is, I've been so excited about this man. My main man. Paul Pierce continues to shine as he writes new chapters in Celtics history. My pleasure, man. I'm telling you. Hey, what's happening, man? And Jeremy Lin is living the most improbable of rags to riches tales. How you doing? Good, man. All right, man. How you doing? Are you mic'd already? It's all next on One on One with Ahmad Rashad. I think they turned it off. Ready? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest edition of One on One with Ahmad Rashad. Now, today, I'll sit down with three men who are at decidedly different stages in their NBA careers. We begin here in Madison Square Garden, where Jeremy Lin has exploded from virtual obscurity to become one of the world's most famous athletes. Undrafted out of Harvard and cut twice following an uneventful rookie season, no one, and I mean no one, could have foreseen what was about to unfold. Inserted into an injury-depleted Knicks lineup in early February, Jeremy responded with a string of stirring performances that captured the imaginations of fans everywhere. Now, though the Knicks have cooled off since his hot start, no one will ever forget when the sports world was first gripped by Lynn Sanity. It's one thing to hear about a global phenomenon, but it's an entirely different thing when you get to experience the hysteria for yourself. Shut the, can you shut the door? Otherwise you got all these people following you, man. <laughs> A lot of kids dream of being in the NBA and playing at the highest level. And you, and you think that, boy, once I finally get there, it'd be so enjoyable. But I don't know anybody that's been in a situation like yours where finally you get here, you get a chance to play, and man, the whole world blows up. Lynn penetrates, left hand by Jefferson, reverse layup, good, and he's fouled. Jeremy Lynn, Lynn Sanity in New York City. Is there any way to describe the instant fame and popularity that you suddenly had? I can't really explain it. I would just say it's a miracle because really, um, no one saw it coming. I can't take credit for everything. You know, there's so many things outside of my control. How did I end up in New York? Um, the day the Rockets released me, Iman gets hurt. I mean, all these different things out of my control really had to happen for me to be here right now, sitting here talking to you. He's got a drive. He does. He oh! As a rookie last season in Golden State, Jeremy was a seldom used bench player. He also did little in brief stops in Houston and the D-League to suggest he would make the impact he did when he was finally given his opportunity in New York. He is the new starting point guard of the Knicks. Lynn likes the open floor, spinning, puts it up, oh, it in. sensational play for Jeremy Lynn. Five, four, Lynn for the win. Got it. Get out of this way. Lynn Sanity does it again. What's the little thing you guys go through before you go out on the court before the game? That's <laughs> st yeah, you and Landon. Stanford and Harvard, but it mo it doesn't look like Stanford. <laughs> uh, it's just a little a fun little thing that we like to do, um, a little secret handshake, just to spice things up a little bit, and you know we, we give each other a couple high fives and. Um, you know, kind of play on the fact that we went to Harvard and Stanford. Um, a lot of different things that we incorporated into this handshake. Let's go. With Sanity continuing to engulf New York City and the entire sports world. The perfect situation rapidly grew into the perfect storm. Playing on one of the game's biggest stages and for a passionate fan base, Jeremy's story seemed as if it was written for the silver screen. So if you were writing a, the Jeremy Lin story, what would be the title? I mean, this, here's a, this is a little something that but we haven't come up with a title. What would be the title? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, I like that. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, there it is. That's the title. There we go. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> Genius. That's what I went to Harvard for. <laughs> In reality, the learning curve is steep in the NBA, even if you happen to be a graduate of Harvard University. And Lynn continues to have difficulties. That's his fourth turnover. 
as the Knicks will lose their third straight and fall to under 500. Jeremy Lin, he's got to be able to adjust his game on the fly. So now let's talk turnovers. Mm -hmm. When you touch the ball 80% of the time, you're going to have turnovers. I'm being aggressive, and um, at some point in time, uh, I'm going to adjust, and I'm going to realize this doesn't work, that doesn't work, how do I limit this? Um, eliminate bad tendencies, bad habits, and as I play through my mistakes, I can grow as a player. And I think that's the most important thing is as long as I keep attacking and keep being aggressive, good things will happen, obviously bad things too. Um, but I just need to make sure that I don't change uh, my approach. Having already taken an amazing journey, the bumps in the road Jeremy has experienced recently have not caused his confidence to waver. Last year I tried really hard to fit in and to, you know, be a player, change my game to fit the team. And, uh, you know, this year I told myself I want to make sure I play my brand of basketball and that I'm really aggressive. And so I just told myself I want to make sure I keep doing um, what I think is my strength and, and play the way I'm supposed to play. And I'm just glad that it turned out the way it did. Jeremy's whirlwind season has taken another dramatic turn. Less than two months after he became a starter for Mike D'Antoni, the Knicks head coach resigned. Now, a new era begins at Madison Square Garden and also a new chapter in Lynn's career.